Okay, welcome back to Resident Evil 4, and it is time to combine some herbs. Hold up. Do this, and we'll leave the red herb alone. Actually, I guess I should combine the green and red herb. Who knows, maybe we'll find another green herb up, up top. Anyways, it's time to ascend. Maybe find a way out of this place. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't like the sounds of that. If Leon feels bad about a place, then it's not gonna be a good area. Oh shit, Ada! Ada! Uh oh. Hi, Sadler! <laughs> Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ah! ah! Oh, shit! Ada, stand back. No, I think you should help me, Ada. Jesus fucking lord, Sadler! How could anyone imagine that thing as being... NOT EVIL! Emergency! Locking down elevator! Yeah, I wasn't planning on running anytime soon. Aha! Oh no, what's the matter, Shad? Don't your eyeballs gonna get hurt? Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shoot the fucking giant eyeball with my magnum. Cause that's gonna do a hell of a lot of damage. A hell of a lot of damage. As long as I... As long as I'm able to... Uh oh, shoot out the eyeballs that are there! Jeez! <laughs> Although maybe I should start slashing the eyeball instead. I think I can do that. Aha! Here we go! A or X? Oh! That works! Alright! Uh, well, we shot out the left eye, we shot out the right eye. I assume that the... Back legs will have the other eyes. Uh huh? Ooh, shotgun ammo! Shotguns are always good! Wait, where'd he go? Oh, well, doesn't matter, because I can just stab him like this! Ha ha! I'll save my magnum then. I'll use the magnum for something else. Eh, shit! Thank god this fucking opened up! I didn't even know this was here! Ha! Ah, what are you gonna do about that, Sadler? Jump! Ah! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! I made an awful mistake! No! A hole! But you have two! Shh! Yeah! Somehow I shot the eyeball through the back of his leg! That worked! <laughs> oh, I bet that really hurts. Alright, let's get out of here. We're gonna cross over the bridge again. Whoa! Shit, 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 I didn't think this was gonna fall! I guess these are timed. All right, let's get away from the uh, the bridge area. Oh, I can shoot out his eyeball. I shouldn't do that though. Oh, tits! That wasn't even gonna hit me, honestly. Yep. Let me just go ahead and heal myself because I'm pretty sure I'm. Ugh. Pretty sure I'm not gonna be going anywhere good after this. And by that I mean I'm not gonna need all my health packs anymore. What was that? The fuck? Listen here, pal. Okay, all right, I deserve many things. I'm gonna heal. <laughs> you know, the ending of the game came a lot faster than I imagined, and yet I've- so I've got like a whole bunch of shit healing items that I would have loved to have spent, but at least they're explosives. Oh yeah. I wonder what would happen if I threw a flash grenade at his giant eyeball. Do you think that would make him, like, Mega blind? 
I'm just saying. Here, have an incendiary grenade, since it looks like it looks like explosives do a lot of damage to you. And if that doesn't work, I've got other types of grenades too! Enjoy! Oh yeah. That's a nice eyeball you've got there. Ooh. What a shame that I shot it. I think he opens up his eyeball sort of by itself, maybe. Yep, nope. That is a a lie. That is not something that happens. Okay. What does this do? Oh shit! Oh yeah! Nice! That should be a good opportunity. Whoa! Rocket launcher! I can't do anything like that right now, but I might attempt to in a few seconds. Okay. We're gonna run through his legs and find the rocket launcher. Ow! I don't know where the rock. Ow! I don't know where the rocket launcher is! Oh, it's on the other side. Shit. That's alright. We'll be fine. He's just stomping around. Woo! Woo! Shit! Retreat! We gotta get that fucking rocket launcher. I don't know what kind of things I could. Oh no, he jumped to the other side already! Well, maybe you'll be a big fan of flashbangs, yeah? That didn't do shit. Okay, alright, alright. How am I gonna do this? Uh, I need space. I don't. I don't. I think we're gonna have to make some sacrifices. Some really hardcore sacrifices. Goodbye, my sniper rifles. Will I be able to make it fit? I can sure as hell fucking try. Okay, alright. Let's do some reorganization. I can make it fit. I can make it fit! I probably could have made it fit with the sniper rifle, but... I, no, I didn't know of anything. <laughs> Why do we even have the fucking scopes anymore? Let's get rid of the scopes if I got rid of the sniper rifle. <laughs> okay. Although, maybe we'll keep the infrared scope. Who knows? Infrared scope could be good. Okay. Ah, we got room. We'll keep the regular scopes, too. Alright. I gotta use this rocket launcher on his eyeball. Oh no! Shit! I went the wrong way. I guess I should've just kept going forward. Woo, boy! Hey! I see you put yourself next to a fire barrel! What an idiotic idea that was! Where's his eyeball? Where's his eyeball? Oh shit! This is a lot of baloney! I, I didn't see it! I didn't know where it was! So I'll just throw a regular grenade. Huh? There we go! This is where it ends, Sadler! Goodbye! Oh yeah! Well, that wasn't too bad. I kicked his ass. Hey, the sample. Uh, uh. Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Damn it, Ada! Well, hey, she helped us out. She threw a fucking rocket launcher at us. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. No, you fucking there won't. You go. Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island, too. What? What the hell? She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. That is such massive shenanigans, Ada! Fucking Christ! Cute. Very cute.
Okay, alright, let's get a move on then. I have no idea where I have to go. I skipped that dialogue, but I guess I'm I'm heading down. Emergency lockdown over. Ooh, wow, 100,000. I guess that's useful for New Game Plus. If I want to go back to the game and obtain different types of weapons, yeah. Well, I don't need weapons equipped, so let's just fucking run. I have no idea where I'm going. I'll look on my map. Maybe that'll help. Ashley, we need to go. We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? It's gonna blow! I hope there are no enemies in these caves, because if there are, that'd be kind of bad for me. Fuck it, we're gonna use the magnum if there are any enemies here. I didn't- I- I hardly had a chance to use it, and that makes me kind of sad. Alright, you might break your spine, but that's okay. You don't need a spine. It's not like you've been using yours. Oh boy. I think we'll be fine, I don't think there's any enemies. Oh yeah! We made it, with plenty of time to spare. <sighs> Wait, no, I have to escape, I have to drive, ah oh, shit, the one thing I'm awful at, well, one of the many things I'm awful at, yeah, okay, alright, left, right, oh, for fuck's sake, <sighs> I was gonna try and lead things over, I'm used to, um, a different kind of game, <laughs> and it's driving. Hang on, sweetheart. Oh gosh. All right. I perform better. This is one to one, relatively. It's like it's like ninety-eight point ninety-eight to one. So we gotta go over left and legitimately dodge the middle part. Okay, we're good. We made it. We're not over yet, but we we made it through those things. Oh. Oh, what? How the fuck am I supposed to know I have to jump off the rock? <laughs> and if, if anything, I wanted to avoid the giant rock in the middle of the water, considering it was, you know, kind of intimidating looking. Hang on, sweetheart. Do you really have to take fucking like seven seconds to say, hang on, sweetheart? Goddamn. All right. I feel like I'm going a hell of a lot faster than I was beforehand. Oh, jeez. But that's okay, whatever. Hit the rocks! Oh yeah! Wait! Behind us! I know! Just hold on! Do we still have to navigate? We still have to navigate! Oh shit! So this Akuma is going really fast because uh, I was just holding the shit out of the left analog stick. I'll be fine, nope! We're fine! We're alive! Hit the rocks! Hit the ramp rocks! Ha! <laughs> and Sadler said that the Americans wouldn't win. Little did he know that I am 100% freedom! Ah! Oh shit! Ashley, Ashley no! Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Kind of. Quite. Yeah. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Oh, swoon! So cool, Leon! Although it's probably a good idea to not do any kind of crazy things with the president's daughter when you're supposed to be protecting her. Oh, and with that, I guess we're done. That was... The ending was a little bit more abrupt than I remember. I could have sworn that there'd be a little bit more between the segments where I fully upgraded my my Magnum and then we get we did the last boss fight. I didn't even really get a chance to use the Magnum that much. I mean, I could have kept on trying, but I was just like, I think the rocket launcher 
was the only way to defeat him? I don't know. I've, that, I've never tried to defeat him any other way. It's just like, rocket launcher, instant kill him. Boom, there you go. Or at least that specific rocket launcher, the special one. So, that was a lot of fun to go back through, actually. Um, there definitely was this kind of overall consistency to the game that some of the future games don't seem to have. Like, Resident Evil 5 was fun, too, but it wasn't, there wasn't as kind of a cool story, even, like, or rather, okay. The, the story for Resident Evil 4 is, like, hilariously bad. I think it was purposely written in such a cheesy, corny way that it's good. Because it's bad, it's good. If that makes any sense. Uh, that, that, that's definitely something that, you know, it's just... Leon's cracking wise-ass remarks. Uh, Sadler's always trying to be, like, full evil. And I, and I swear, some of the enemies could have just had, like, full-on evil laughters. Uh, and and, and it, it was good because of this. My only general issue is that we don't really have any character development outside of, like, major cutscenes. So, like, we never, heard, we never hear Ashley talk when we have her. She has, like, maybe ten lines of dialogue through the entire game. And it's like, I'm supposed to be rescuing this chick and, and caring about her, but we don't have any kind of, like, in-between things. She doesn't say anything beyond, LEON! HELP! And then a couple other things, you know? And I feel like that kind of definitely was a bit of a slacking moment there. Uh, there could have been more, but at the very least, the game was a lot of fun. And the thing to remember about Resident Evil 4 as well was it was the first Resident Evil to do this whole third-person shooter thing, uh, and it did it really well. For a game that kind of, or for, for a series that did a lot of kind of overview camera things like Metal Gear Solid, uh, I, I've never played them, but you, you can see them. You can look at anybody's, uh, let's play, you can look at anybody's game videos and be like, that's kind of iffy gameplay, but I'm sure it was a lot of fun at the time, but I'm a much bigger fan of, like, third-person shooting, uh, and they did a good job. And then, obviously, Resident Evil 5, they improved it a little bit because I believe you could move and shoot. Or could you? I'm not sure. There are a whole bunch of different... Like, Dead Rising was another game where you couldn't move and shoot, and it's just like, all right, come on, guys. It's not that complicated to, to add in there, but not being able to move while shooting definitely did add in a little bit of tension, because it's basically like, I have to lock myself in place to land a blow. Uh, I can't just kind of run and gun everywhere, because, well, I, if I do that... Or, I, 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 can't do, I can't do it at all, actually. Uh, there's not even an option. So... It was actually kind of, there were a lot of really panicky moments, there were a lot of moments where it's like, oh shit, I'm losing a lot of health. However, I think I handled myself relatively well. I think that probably my experience with the game beforehand, and also sometimes looking up information, there's gonna be an after credit scene here interrupting me in a little bit, um... The, 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 the fact that I kind of played the game in the past, I think definitely helped me not suck at it all that much. So that was pretty nice. Hey, Hunnigan! Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's Jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty? <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> He denies the president's daughter, but Hunnigan, who we barely know? Yeah, sure, give me your number. <laughs> but that could have been said in jest. Oh, I think we get the full on file thing here. Let's see. How well did I do? I had a 73% hit ratio, which is pretty damn good considering that the guns are really kind of hard to use until you get like a stock to kind of stabilize your shot and get a little bit better. Uh, you're not being chased around. Number of times killed, 35. Yeah, I died a good amount of times. <laughs> um, I've gone through this game and hardly, I, I, I've gone through this game before and had like zero deaths, but this time uh, it, it was a little bit more chillax, a little bit more fun. Um, what was I saying beforehand? I don't remember. <laughs> the point is, the game was a lot of fun. It was something that kind of sort of revolutionized third-person shooters. It also kind of shifted Resident Evil over into a different way 
Resident Evil 6 had a lot of bad reviews. I haven't played it. Maybe I will play it in the future, uh, depending on how you guys respond to this. I might be interested in playing Resident Evil 5 again. However, uh, I'm not sure I'd want to deal with AI shenanigans. They add in co-op people, uh, or rather, they add in AI partners for the other games, which is great because they can shoot stuff, but they suck. So, I'm iffy about that. But, yeah, okay, let me... Okay, upload data la data board or leaderboards. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. They can see how bad I sucked. Now you can buy an infinite launcher and a Matilda from the merchant. Yay! I have no idea what those are. Okay, we're gonna put that in eleven because that is the full completion of the game. That's a that's actually a pretty good length, like around sixteen hours. Damn. Now, obviously, there are also other things. We have the mercenary modes and uh, assignment Ada, which I never played. Uh oh. Oh, I thought that was going to start completely. Uh, maybe I will play through assignment Ada. I think I need to do that after all this. But yeah, no. I, I want to finish up my thoughts on everything. Uh, let me look through movie browser. Yeah, character development. I wish there was a little bit more character development, but beyond that, that's most of my issues with the game. The game came out a long, long time ago, so I guess I can be a little bit lenient. It was a really good game for its time, and it's still a pretty fun game and good game to play through nowadays. It actually aged pretty well. Obviously, you know, they had HD texturing, uh, or rather HD texture upscaling in this port, but it, relatively, the engine still looks pretty good. And it looked good when it came out, too, so I'm pretty happy about that. Anyways, I had a lot of fun with this game. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun and enjoyed watching this Let's Play. I'm gonna end off here, and maybe I will, uh, hit up some of the other side things of the game. I've never heard of Separate Ways, so I'm interested to see what this is. Separate Ways! Another Ada thing, I guess. Yeah, I'll check these out. And then Mercenaries is something cool. I never really got that far, but Mercenaries is kind of like a survival horde mode thing before horde, mo horde, yeah, horde mode game types started to become pretty popular. But it's really fucking hard because you don't get a hell of a lot of ammo and you have to be really efficient with all of it. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this Let's Play. I will see you guys later.